Hi guys, it's Miss Simon. So I wanted to make this video today to help you guys out with science. So remember, uh, you just took a quiz yesterday on observable properties of matter. So today we're going to look more closely at one of those observable properties, which we call solubility. Okay, remember we talked about solubility is how well something dissolves in water. So how well something dissolves in something else. Okay, so let me share my screen with you and we'll go through your notes for today. Make sure you have your notes out and are writing everything down that I highlight on this presentation. Okay, so at the top of your next page of your notes, go ahead and write down mixing substances. Mixing substances. All right, so when you hear mixing substances, you might think of many things that you've mixed before. Maybe you've mixed sugar and water, okay? Or maybe when you've made a cake, you've put food coloring in the icing or something like that. So many of you have mixed things before. All right, so going back to solubility. So in the last book section, we saw that one characteristic of matter is solubility. Solubility is how much of an object can dissolve in another particular substance. So go ahead and write that down. Solubility is how much of an object can dissolve in another substance. So for example, we talked about solubility being how much um, something can dissolve in water. Okay, and we thought of many different things that have or that are soluble like sugar, Kool-Aid mix, okay? those type of things, bath bombs, those are all things that dissolve in water. So solubility is just how much of an object can dissolve in another substance. When we say dissolved, okay, we mean that one substance has become incorporated in the other forming a solution. So when we say dissolved, okay, that means the other, one of the substances has gone into the other, okay? You cannot tell the difference between the two. You cannot pick them apart, okay? So they formed together and they formed something we call a solution. When something dissolves in something else, we call that a solution. All right, so I want you to think of different things that um, you have made that are solutions. So what are some things that you can think of that have dissolved one substance into another? Okay, I'm sure you make many solutions at home every day. So just take a couple seconds and think of some ones that you guys um, have made at home. All right, moving on. First, we're going to look at liquid solutions. Many solutions are liquids. The Atlantic Ocean, seen at the left here, is a salt water solution. The salt has dissolved in the water, making it seem like the salt has disappeared. So we will look at this one for example, okay? If you've ever been to the ocean where you have salt water, like the beach, if you've ever gone to Florida, okay? The ocean is a giant salt water solution, okay? Because the salt has dissolved in the water. You cannot pick out the salt from the water. Okay, so the salt has dissolved in the water, making it look like the salt has disappeared. Okay, so my main thing here is you're going to write down liquid solutions. Okay, and go ahead and add many solutions are liquid. The Atlantic Ocean is a salt water solution. The salt has dissolved, making it seem like it has disappeared. So any ocean would be an example of a liquid solution, okay? So the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, anything that is an ocean is going to be salt water. So it is going to be a liquid solution because the salt has dissolved in the water. All right, moving on. Make sure you have that down. Many solutions are liquids, but some can be solids or gases. So just like we have liquid solution, we can have solid solution and gas solution, okay? So an example of a solid solution would be a brass coin, okay? So it's made by mixing many different metals together, okay? So go ahead and write this down. Types of solutions, many solutions are liquids, but some can be solids or gases. OK, 
Okay, a brass coin is an example of a solid solution. Go ahead and write that down. So when we're making brass, brass isn't just one metal on its own. It's a bunch of different metals combined together to make brass, okay? That's why it's a solution, okay? If you look at this brass coin, you can't pick out one metal from the next because it's all combined together, right? So you have metals that have dissolved in other metals to create this brass coin. So brass wouldn't be an example of a solid solution. Okay, then we have a gas solution. Air is a gas solution, okay? So because of air, okay, all of these different things have combined together to create air. Air isn't just air, okay? Air is made of uh, many different gases. It's made up of oxygen, it's made up of carbon dioxide, it's made up of nitrogen, which we'll learn later on in science this year. So air would be an example of a gas solution. So, but for this unit, we're just gonna focus on those liquid solutions. So kind of like the salt water that we were talking about earlier. All right, moving right along. Solutions can only be liquid, true or false. If you said false, you are correct. We just went through both a solid solution and a liquid solution. All right, so solutions. In a solution, each of the substances keeps its same properties. So go ahead and write that down. In a solution, each of its substances keep its same properties. Okay, so for an example, in salt water, both the salt and the water keep their same hardness, their same color, their same electrical conductivity, their same properties that we've talked about before. And if you were to separate them out again, you would get the original substances, okay? So even though they're forming a solution by coming together, their properties are not changing, okay? Salt still has that white color, okay? It's still is soluble. Water, it still has that clear color, okay? It still is a liquid, all right? So just because we're forming a solution with the two doesn't mean its properties are changing. Its properties stay the same. And if we were to separate them out, we would see that, okay? So if you've ever put salt water out in the sun, okay, the water would evaporate out and your salt would be left. And that salt would just look like regular salt. So solutions keep their same properties. Which of the following statements is true about what happens when you mix salt and water? The salt completely disappears. The salt and water keep their same properties. A completely new substance is made that is different than salt and water, but the salt does not dissolve. If you said the salt and water keep their same properties, you are correct, we just learned that. Salt and water are both still salt and water, even when they're mixed together. All right, here's where we will pick up tomorrow, okay? Make sure you are watching this Ed Puzzle and answering the questions. That is what you will be graded on today. So I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day, bye.